So I recently auditioned for Divine Comedy. Uh, I didn't make it, that's why I'm here. Uh, apparently I was writing too many jokes and not enough parodies. At least that's what they told me. I tried out for their stage crew though, uh, and I got in. So now I just get to go and make all of them feel really uncomfortable. Which is what I did at my audition anyway, so they kind of expected it, so. The differences between Divine Comedy and Humor You are pretty big. Uh, at Divine Comedy, you would commonly hear something like, Yo, this sketch needs some lasers and some live tigers, dude. Uh, meanwhile, at a Humor You show, you'll hear, Who the heck just got on stage? I don't even think they're a BYU student. <laughs> well, let's see if they're any good. You know, uh, Divine Comedy as well, they have a lot more rules that they have to follow than us. At a rehearsal I was at a couple weeks ago, I heard somebody say, uh, you can't say the word frick on stage. People are going to get offended. Meanwhile, last week at a Humor You rehearsal, somebody said the phrase, and I quote, well, it's not blatantly sexist, so it's probably fine. <laughs> Luckily, though, that joke didn't make it into this show, in case you were worried. Uh, watch out for November, though. It's gonna be dicey. I mean, here you can get away with those types of jokes because they're simply not as big as Divine Comedy. Um, there's actually three comedy groups uh, on campus. We have Laugh Out Loud, we have Divine Comedy, and we have The Funny One. Um, I honestly like Humor You the best because they let me perform here. It's <laughs> at the top of my book. Uh, Divine Comedy and Laugh Out Loud are very picky about who they let perform comedy. Here, if it breathes, it sells tickets. <laughs> and it also doesn't hurt to share the same haircut with everybody else in the group, as you will see tonight. Um, Humor You, honestly, is kind of an outcast when it comes to these comedy clubs, despite how clearly funny we are. Um, the Divine Comedy and Laugh Out Loud always go to each other's shows, they get into them for free, they have sleepovers, all that gross stuff. Meanwhile, Humor You was put in the building furthest from any other building on campus. Did you guys notice that? They just stuck us as far away as possible. And with the honor students. Ugh. <laughs> it's as if somebody said, hmm, what are the two most annoying know-it-all groups on this campus? <laughs> Let's put them together and get them far away from us as possible. Hopefully, at the end of the year, we'll have a couple normal people. They'll balance each other out. Honestly, I see myself as the authority on all three types of comedy. Um, on all three comedy clubs, uh, lap, uh, I perform here, I stage manage for Divine Comedy, and I have laughed out loud before. So there you go. Um, let's see, I have laughed out loud before, at some point. Um, the three comedy groups are just so very different from each other, honestly. Um, with um, one of the big differences that they have, actually, this just came to mind, was the types of things that they throw out to the audience. Um, at Laugh Out Loud, you would easily see people throwing out like toilet paper and fruit snacks. That's kind of their thing. Divine Comedy is known for throwing glow sticks into the audience. Laugh Out uh, Humor You is known for throwing out a couple punchlines to its audience. So, I mean, a couple different th differences about us. Um, actually, if anybody out there is in the audience is from Divine Comedy, this is just a cry for attention. Please let me into your group. Um, take me back. I will drop this group quickly. No, um, no, that is not actually true. I, mostly because I'm not cut out for sketch comedy. It is very different. Um, because there's several different types of comedy. Improv comedy is improvised group comedy. Sketch comedy is written group comedy. Uh, Stand-up comedy is solo written company, uh, comedy. Which, I may not have math goods, but 
This means there's a fourth comedy out there, right? An improvised solo act where a man gets on stage and starts spinning out punchlines as fast as possible trying to get people to laugh. Now you may be thinking, have I seen this before? Where would this be? Is this man doing that comedy right now? <laughs> no, I worked really hard on these jokes. <laughs> but it does leave the question, where is this comedy? And I was reflecting on this for the past couple weeks, and I think I found it. I was in a fast and testimony meeting. <laughs> And I think you guys have already made the connection. Uh, one guy just got up and just started trying to be relatable. Not even trying to get, like, get the spirit. Just trying to get laughs. And I was like, I can break my fast now. I found it. The final comedy. I like to, I now christen it as soapbox comedy, where you just throw random crap out and just hope somebody laughs. I'm, I've used it in presentations in class, I've used it during tests, it doesn't work very well there, but now that I've kind of workshopped it a little, I'm starting a new club on, cla uh, on campus, and I hope I get a couple auditions from some of you. Uh, please do not come prepared. Uh, thank you very much. That is my set. <laughs>